ready to fight? You ready? Go right, so here we are on the center of Anaheim, California. And when you come to certain markets, you better bring it, right? We got Disneyland around the corner. The UFC knows when they come to town in Anaheim that they better bring the stars. They have certainly done that. They've done that time and time again. Some of the title fights in this arena, Velasquez versus Lesnar, Cormier versus Jones, Woodley versus Maya, Cyborg winning the championship, Dos Santos versus Velasquez. So many people have come to this arena as champion and lost those titles. What history will you make tonight? Now it's tight, there it is. Still working on that submission. He will not quit on trying to get the submission. Oh, somehow he got out. That was beautiful. Look at how he brought his hips up in the air. Used his momentum to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Good work from the top here by Chimaya. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, he's got his back now. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. Oh, that rear naked choke is tight. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Clipped him with the right hand there. So an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. The opponent recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finish at that time. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Shemaev's in half goal. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a, now trying to isolate an arm. Yeah, he's trying to go to a Kimura lock right here. He'll, he'll either try to get the submission or use the sweep. Oh, he's going to get him with it. Look at him pop the bridge, straighten that arm, get back into the direction that he was straightening the arm to get back to his knees. Great job. that is very, very difficult to deal with. So Hamza Chimaya thus far at his suffocating best. There just are not a lot of welterweights and middleweights that can deal with his physicality. Well, it just looks like when you're under him and he takes you down that he's just almost smothering. He's one of those big, dense, tough wrestlers that when he gets top position, he makes you pay. That's exactly what he's done today. He has employed his strategy to perfection. And that is why he looks so good. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Under a minute now to go in the round. Diaz's eye now closing up. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, a good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Now lands a kick to the body. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round. Very useful here towards the tail end of the frame. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, great submission defense. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Good, solid strike on the ground. That horn sound means we have 
reach the end of round one. Stop, stop, stop. All right, sit down for me, bud. Awesome round. Doing great. Deep breath for me. All right, listen. Now, I want you to stay relaxed, and I want you to... All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, ahead. round two. All right, so here we go with our next round. In the previous round, he rocked his opponent pretty good. We'll see if he can piggyback on that momentum. Let's see if he can continue the onslaught, right? He had his opponent hurt real bad, but he cannot rush. He still has to understand that a live fighter is in front of him. Otherwise, he'll find himself on the wrong side of a knockdown. Oh, nice elbow. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect him. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for headhunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Shimaev's looking for that arm triangle. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. This arm triangle is looking pretty tight. He's got it locked in. He's got to clear the guard, drop his chest, and get the finish. Oh, oh, no! One and done! What a performance. Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. The official decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 31 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, Hamza Borz Kamaya! The two runners, the product of many cruel summers. In the description was fitting, they say it's two gunners. Clap chick, peas out your cheek until you drew hummus. Left the scene, the hellcat scream, cause we don't do hummus. But we do many hummus, taking your baby.